Rare earth are a set of 17 chemical elements difficult to exploit because they are located in few countries. Rare earth are used in multiple industries and in the last years they suffered a rapid demand growth. Their application can be found in a lot of daily life objects such as technological devices but also in the green technologies field. In 2010, the European Union has included rare earth in the raw materials initiative for their economic importance and availability. Considering the criticality of rare earth, recycling rather than mining, must be developed as the primary source. Relight is a company specialized in collection, transport and treatment of electronic waste with four dedicated recovery processing lines. Aiming to close the loop, Relight, with an international consortium, developed two hydrowee projects, both financed by the European Commission. The aim of the projects is to develop an innovative hydrometallurgical process to recover rare and precious metal from weeds. The first project dealt with the research of a process that could recover precious metals from weeds. These wastes are rich in rare herbs that can be recovered. Innovative hydrometallurgical process feasible for SMEs were developed and the final goal of building a pilot prototype was achieved. Being the first project successful, the consortium decided to present a second project for the semi-industrial production. This second project, called Hydrowe Demo, aims to build two industrial demonstration plants, one stationary and one mobile, in order to test the performance and prove the viability of the process from an integrated point of view. Both plants are built and running at the moment with the industrial-like plant located here in a relight site. The plant can extract precious rare earth from different waste. We can recover rare earth from batteries, LCD panels and PCB boards, but the process is mainly focused on the extraction of yttrium, europium and other rare elements from fluorescent lamps and a cathode ray tube. Lamps are shred mechanically and the resulting fractions separated. The whole treatment is equipped with an aspiration system ending with a bag house filter and an active carbons filter that allow the capture of the fluorescent powder. CRT TV and monitors are first dismantled manually, then the tube is cut by dedicated machines. On the panel glass, there is the fluorescent powder, which is removed from glass by an aspirator. Both CRTs and lamps powders, rich in rare earth oxides, are treated with the same process. Laboratory analysis showed that the product contains several rare earths like yttrium and europium in high concentration, but also gadolinium and terbium. Hydrowidemo plant works in batches and it can treat 600 kilos of powder per batch. The construction of Hydrowidemo plant was completed in January 2014. Powders coming from fluorescent lamps and CRT's treatment are fed into an hopper, then sieved in order to remove big size particles of glass. Then the powder is directed to a leaching reactor where it is mixed with a first reagent and a water to take the rare earth's metal in solution. After the leaching time, the solution is led to a filter press where the first filtration takes place. Solid filtrate cake is disposed while leaching liquor is sent to the second reactor for the precipitation with a second reagent. The solid produced from the second filter press is our product a mixed rare earth oxalate with high concentration. We can produce 200 kilos of oxalate per batch. This means that we can achieve a productivity of 165 tons per year. Wastewater is sent to a third reactor for the purification with lime, so clean water can be reused in the process. The plant is totally automatic and it can be run by PLC and remote control in the office.